Welcome everyone, I'm Craven and this is a Yudun Chronicle Rising. A nice little game made for us just to tide us over until 100 Heroes that comes out next year, which is the spiritual successor to Svikoden, and I can't wait till the game gets released. But for now, I'm very intrigued <laughs> to see what this game is all about. From what I've seen, it's more like a side-scrolling action-adventure game. And what we do in this game, what I've heard also is that it will be carried over into the main game next year. So that's going to be very interesting. So I'm more than curious to find out what it's all about. So let's not wait too much longer. All right, new game. Option. Let's quick look at the options. Nothing too weird. All right. Then I feel like I need to go changing, so let's go with new game. Uh, play from the beginning. Auto save data will be created. Yes. Save file created successfully. Yeah, <laughs> it does look really good, doesn't it? I like it already. Hmm, I've been walking for a while now. Ah, CJ, a young girl descended from generations of scavengers. She has come to New Neve to complete her family's rite of passage. Hmm, rune barrows discovered. Wealth beyond your wildest dreams awaits you in New Neve. All adventurers, welcome. Based on what I heard at the inn yesterday, it shouldn't be too far now. Unless I'm lost. Ah, stop! Going straight into combat? Y you, help me out, will ya? What have we got here? Thieves? Bandits! They're all over the place lately. <laughs> Looks like you can handle yourself in a fight, though. What's that supposed to mean, huh? I'm a regular, everyday trader. You often go around judging folks on how they look. Wow, sorry. Going after helpless traders, now are we? Ah, clear out, little girl. Huh. And you don't even have the decency to deny it. Can't just watch a man's property get stolen, can I? Goes a little bit against my principles. Well then, come on, cowards, and I'll take you for all you're worth. Ah, defeat the bandits. Do we get a tutorial on how everything works? <laughs> Alright, let's see. Combat basics. Approach and attack incoming enemies. Although some fights can be avoided, occasionally enemies will block the path ahead. Always be ready for action. Okay, unique skill on the trigger. Jump, attack. Basic controls. Very basic indeed. <laughs> uh, quick step. CJ's unique skill. CJ can traverse short distances at high speed. Quick step forward while in motion and backwards while stationary. Time your movement right, and you can use this to evade enemy attacks. Alright. Yeah, I don't expect uh, these ones uh, to be too uh, difficult. It's not to start out with. Ah, retreat! Ah, not bad at all. Better than I expected from my youngin. Hogan's the name. You really saved my skin. I owe you one. Hogan. No one to miss a trend. Hogan was quick to notice the sudden influx of adventurers to New Neve. And even quicker to set up shop at the town's authorized trading post. Uh, CJ. Honorable scavenger at your service. Hmm? Honorable scavenger? How does that work? Well, scavenging is just treasure hunting, isn't it? Only difference between that and thieving is whether you mark is living or dead. <laughs> Thieves think too highly of themselves, though. 
That's what my clan says, anyway. Ah, so scavengers suit you better, huh? You're journeying to Nuneva for treasure, then, I take it? I sure am. What about you? Ah, uh, just left. Picked up some trinkets and came out here to sell them off. And what about lenses? Do they have lenses? Yep, plenty of them too. I even heard of some lucky souls finding rune lenses down in them burrows. <laughs> yes, I gotta get down there now. That humongous lens is as good as mine. W which way to town? Ah, now uh, what kind of gentleman would I be if I didn't take you there myself? Least I can do after all. Oh, I do like the art style. It does make you feel like Sweet Coden a little bit, the way the characters are. I like that. Oh, back again already, Hogan? Wait, where's your escorts? Ah, bolted at the first sign of bandits. Ah, paid good money for them too. Bandits again? Tougher bunch than last time. Someone ought to do something soon. Look, we're just here to guard the checkpoint, alright? If you got a complaint, take it up with the acting mayor. Yeah, yeah. And uh, who is this little lady? Her name is CJ. She's, uh, what's it, honorable scavenger? Here to accept the acting mayor's generous invitation. And she's more reliable than you layabouts, that's for sure. Another reckless adventurer willing to risk their lives. And a child at that. <laughs> I'll take this as a compliment. Thank you. There's not a single member of my clan who got their head screwed on. Reckless fools. Every single one of them. Fair enough. Acting mayor will certainly be glad to hear that. Proceed. So basically, on the good word of Hogan, we get led through the checkpoint. <laughs> ah, back so soon? I'm quite sure I watched you leave just a little while ago. Uh, you will believe what happened, Squash. Oh my word, well at least you are unscathed. Thanks to this young lady no less, Madam CJ was it? Squash, authorized appraiser, a pleasure to meet you. Squash, a connoisseur of all that shimmers, the promise of a glimmer, future drop Squash to New Neva to open his accessory shop. His discerning eye quickly earned him the role of the town's authorized appraiser. Authorized appraiser? Ah, indeed. It is my duty to appraise artifacts excavated from the barrows. I wonder if all these characters will be part of the 100 heroes? Or they are like extra characters that are involved in the story but not actually part of the 100? Because if they are, we already know a shopkeeper and an appraiser, so we're already doing pretty well. <laughs> what for? Oh, why? To determine their value, of course. All artifacts found in the barrows are subject to an explorer tax of 30%. 30%? Oh, you haven't heard the worst of it yet. If you want into the run rune barrows, you're gonna need an explorer's license from the acting mayor. And the license don't come cheap, ain't that right, Squash? Ooh, I'm afraid so. Ah, this mayor sounds proper rapacious, if you ask me. Yep, rapacious is the word. Quite. Well, what's to stop me sneaking out? The other side of the ruin, anyway. Ooh, I wouldn't recommend that. You get caught trying to hightail it out of there with a bag full of loot, well, you won't get very far. Mayor had an unsavory from the east uh, reach to put a stop to any thieving that might occur. Or so I've heard, at least. Hmm, yes, I've seen many a crook dealt with in my day, but that mercenary, ooh, he's unnerving. I'm quite sure his presence is only thing keeping those bandits from darkening our door. Ah, uh, how about we go see the mayor for ourselves then, huh? Even a rapacious old soul can be reasoned with, after all. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> Lead the way. Ah, right this way. The town is just ahead. Hmm. Well, perhaps next time we meet, 
you'll have a handful of treasure for me to appraise. Until then, farewell. Uh, the visual art style of this game so far is amazing. I like it a lot. Especially there's a really nice 3 feel it has to it, even though you're just moving to a 2D space. Ah, here it is, a flourishing new frontier in the grips of a gold rush. Welcome to New Neve. Uh, not much to look at, is it? Well, uh, <clears throat> I did say flourishing, didn't I? Work in progress, huh? Is this an earthquake? Ah, I can stand earthquakes. Oh, you're fine. It wasn't even that big. <laughs> yeah, uh, anyway. Earthquakes are pretty common here, so best be on your toes. Chorus is thanks to an earthquake that you might even find them barrows. Real big one, about three months ago. <laughs> so that's what happened. Well, best be getting back. Got a store to run after all, or I will, eventually. Figured I'd make a buck or two setting up a trading post for adventurers to trade their wares. Mosey on by, once I've opened up. Opened up. Hey, wait, where can I find that mayor you were talking about? Uh, town's over in the plaza, I suppose. Where else? <laughs> Thanks, Hogan. Stay out of trouble now. Ah, uh, fingers crossed, Missy. Fingers crossed. Bye-bye. Now then, time to track down this money-grabbing mayor. Hell yeah. Uh, from the main menu, you can check your current quest progress as well as your stats and items. A mini map showing your current location is also displayed on the screen. This bustling plaza is the beating heart of Nunave, with town folks passing through it day and night. The town office sits at the center, where the bulletin board can also be found whenever CJ feels like helping the residents. Alright, finally free to move and look around. And of course, only back and forth, not in the background. At least not here. Maybe there will be places where we can push behind and go to another layer of the town, like a proper 2D, 3D feel to it. Can we talk or just talk to the people that have indicators? Yes. Alright, so these are just uh, NPCs walking around, meaning nothing. Alright. Let's see what we have in here, the main menu. Nice map, 20% explored. Quest, main quest, the treasure hunter. <laughs> Not very hard, find the acting mayor. And we can do that. Stats and equipment, holster access and hunter suit. No accessories just yet. And we're not carrying anything right now, but I'm sure we'll find something really quick. I wonder if the weapon upgrading system is gonna be like the old speed coding games that you need to uh, temper then in the blacksmith or something. Stow pack. Okay, so I'm guessing we can only take a certain amount of items with us into the barrows. And then try to get as far as we can, getting as much as we can. And the resources, of course. Achievements, help options. Okay, so it looks pretty straightforward. Alright, let's just keep looking around. Uh, excuse me, an idea where a girl might find that rapacious acting mayor I've heard so much about? Rapacious? How rude. Is she the mayor? <laughs> oh, lighten up. I just... Wait. It's not you, is it? I am Isha, acting mayor of this town, yes. I should very much like to know who considers me rapacious, though. <laughs> Isha. Having taken over as acting mayor after her father went missing, Isha is responsible for the decision to open up the quarry to adventurers and for taxing them for the privilege. <laughs> well, that's uh, Hogan and uh, Squash. Ah, uh, them again. Perhaps their taxes are due for an increase. Oh, sorry, guys. So, rapacious might have been a bit much. <laughs> From what I've heard about the mayor, I was expecting some old fogey. Not the 
Charming young woman such as yourself? How old are you anyway? 16, what of it? Oh, same as me. <laughs> I'm CJ, nice to meet you. An adventurer, I presume? Uh, never judge a book by its uh, boots, they say. We welcome all sorts here. CJ, initials perhaps? Prefer to keep your real name a secret, is that it? <laughs> Enough about me. License, that's right. I came here to get an explorer's license. An explorer's license cost 100,000 baka. <laughs> and not a penny less. 100,000 baka. It could be bakwa. But I think baka is easier to pronounce. <laughs> less uh, chance of me making a mistake. Are you mad, woman? Do I look like I've got that on me? I'm 16. Give me the children's fee, like the horse carriage in the city. Hmm, do you think me as dull-witted as that? Even your horse carriages, consider anyone older than 12 capable of paying full price. Hmm, you know your horse carriages. I'll give you that. Ah, fret not. We offer assistance to the financially enfeebled. Take this stamp card. Get enough stamps and I'll issue you an explorer's license. A stamp card? The residents of New Neve post all jobs on the bulletin board frequently. Complete the task and that resident will stamp your card for you. Ah, so I just help around town, is that it? In a nutshell, yeah. Many were troubled considerably by the earthquake three months back. Help is in great demand and short supply. Ah, piece of cake. Don't go anywhere, cause I'll be back for my license before you know it. It's gonna be a bit harder than we think it is, isn't it? Alright. Collect stamp in this card by helping town folks with whatever they need. Essential for acquiring an explorer's license, no adventure in New Neve can be without their stamp card. So basically, she jacked up the price to get the license, so almost nobody can uh, pay for it. Because adventurers come here to seek fortune, they don't have it or else they wouldn't be here. And then they get forced into using a stamp card, helping the town repair everything and building it up. Very shrewd, but I kind of like it. <laughs> Alright, the stamp card. Collect stamp cards in the city by helping townsfolk with whatever they need. Alright. Yes. Main quest one. Okay, so are those all the stamps we get? Oh, uh, I really hope we get more stamps than uh, one per job. All right, let's have a look around a little bit more before we hit the board. Or any exclamation marks. I wanna see what we're up against. Okay, so we're not allowed out of town, or that could be the mine, the barrows. So that would explain why we won't be able to go there unless we have the license. So we got a board, we got a little girl, old woman. Okay, so I'm guessing everyone with the name above is gonna be someone on the board with the help request that we need to activate. And the town outskirts. Oh, I wanna check it out. I wanna see if we can get outside and fight some random enemies just because we want to. Like I said, I'm just uh, trying to figure things out. I I'm still trying to push in the background to see if we can use the other roads. Because they look so damn inviting, if I have to say so. Okay, we can go out here as well. Do we need to use the locations for that? No, it's only what we've known now. So the place where we fought before the guard place, <laughs> we're not, al not allowed to go back there. Alright. Right, let's get uh, back into town. And I will use the teleportation through the select locations. Of course, more and more the further in the game we get. Of course. Okay, let's see what kind of quest we can uh, find. Let's first talk to the little girl, because it doesn't seem like she's on the board. Hello. Don't suppose you know of anyone who needs any help around here? I sure do. Really? Who? Me! Oh. Uh, look, I'd love to help you, but 
It's not gonna get my card stamped, I'll have to decline. Stamp? Like the one Major Isha gave to everyone? I've got one, look! Wow, even kids have them? With this stamp, adventurers will perform any and all tasks you require. So use them and abuse them. <laughs> That's what Major Isha said. Does sound like uh, the voice of someone as shrewd as she is. <laughs> Rapacious might have been right on the money after all. Are you an adventurer too? Yep, call me CJ. What's your name? Priya, so... will you help me CJ? I certainly will. What can I do for you today, Priya? Hmm, find Yum Yum. Yum Yum ran away from home and hasn't come back yet. Can't be having that now, can we? Is Yum Yum your little sister, brother? My cat! She's white, fluffy and cute and cuddly. You want me to track down a cat? Uh, so much for treasure hunting, I suppose. Well, she got startled by that quake earlier and jumped out of the window. She's still little, so it's dangerous for her to go out by herself. If she wanders outside the walls, she could be eaten by monsters. Oh, please find uh, her for me, CJ. Yum Yum is my most treasured friend. Treasured friend, you say? Well, if there's one thing I'm good at, it's finding treasure. I left Yum Yum back to you in no time. Ah, oh, thank you. I'll be right here, okay? Alright. Gather information. Okay, so they're not just there for quests, but also for the information part of it. So does it mean that we need to learn about the new location before we're allowed to get there? Hmm, an outlander. Save your breath. This used to be quite a little village, till you showed up. Nothing but a nuisance, a lot of you. What is this Isha last thinking, huh? No respect for tradition. Yeah, I don't think she's gonna help us. <laughs> Whoa, never seen an adventurer like you before. If you find anything good, don't keep it all to yourself, yeah? <laughs> the old bag might not see the benefit letting you adventures in, but I do. Mining's all we've got after all, especially now that they're sealed off the barrows. What use would a mining town be without a mine, honestly? Isha might be a bit daft at times, but she's right about this. What do you mean? Greedy, certainly, but daft? <laughs> no, I didn't mean it, nothing by it. She's just different from the rest of us. I gathered that. 616 owns a mine, has to make all the decisions. You haven't seen a fluffy white cat being cute and cuddly around here, have you? Oh, I have. Priya's cat, right? Yum yum. Really? Where did it go? I pulled this tail and it ran off into the woods. Why would you pull a cat's tail? Why not? <laughs> Nothing to do with an outlander like you anyway. Ah, oh, charming. She's only small, so she'll be gobbled up by monsters for sure. And there are monsters all over the place since the mining started. There will be no cats getting gobbled on my watch. I promised Priya I'd return her treasure, and that's what I'm gonna do. I appreciate the info, kid. Could have done without the attitude, though. Yeah. Really nice kid. Got some really good psycho vibes in him already. Throwing cats out just to be gobbled up by monsters. Yeah, not winning any social prizes there. Uh, you can go now from town outskirts to the Great Forest. So it is. Dungeons. There are a variety of dungeons around town, each rich with their own unique resources ready for you to mine. Since the earthquake, monsters have been sighted in greater and greater numbers, so proceed with caution. Alright, so do we just can we walk there or do we need to use the selection screen? Um, yes, so that it is. Okay, so. We need to know about location before we can move there. And when we do, we just have to use our control and not actually push ourselves down into the back. The Great Forest, a large lost forest located just outside the border of Nunave. While the area is rich with food, wood and stone, the monsters which gave which have gathered here there since the earthquake have made it a dangerous place to be. A cat? Oh no idea, sorry. 
Ah, fast travel is safe. So this uh, fort is gonna be so big, we're gonna have teleports uh, in them. All right. So this is gonna be a gathering uh, game as well. I wonder what we can do with the resources then, if that's what we can collect here. <laughs> Sleeping and level one. Okay, let's be very quiet as I kill this ass before he wakes up. <laughs> Alright. Okay, 40 experience. Don't see any items. I wonder if those items are all dropped by monsters. Or if there's another indicator on the map. Alright, just testing out the unique skill. Yum yum! A cat! Small, white, fluffy, cute. Yep, you must be yum yum. <clears throat> yum yum! Psst, 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 psst. Who's a good kitty? Nothing to be afraid of. Please don't run away. <laughs> no! Oh, come on! Carry it normally. Look at this face. He has a face like, oh, I'm gonna scratch you up if you don't hold me in a better way. Gotcha. Meow. <laughs> What's a little angel like you doing in a place like this, huh? Let's get you back to your family, shall we? Aww. I'm back. And look who I found. Meow. Yum yum. <laughs> I was so worried about you, dummy. Cut her some slack. Yeah, she had a bit of a scare and ran off into the woods, that's all. A scare? Oh no, I'm sorry, Yum Yum. At least you're not hurt. Don't go wandering off no more, okay? Meow. <laughs> thank you so much, TJ. As promised, here's my stamp. Why, thank you. And done. One stamp down? Plenty more to go. Say, Priya, you don't happen to know anyone else who might need some help, do you? Sure do. Really? Who's next then? My dad. Our house got all messed up in a big earthquake three months ago. Dad's been trying to fix it up, but he's never has enough wood. You think you could help him, CJ? <laughs> of course, leave it to me. Gotta fill up this stamp card so I can get my explorer's license, you see? Can't expect it to stamp itself, can I? <laughs> You're the best, CJ. So, where's your dad anyway? Hmm, if we just live over there, in the re 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 residential district. <laughs> Got it. Bye for now, Priya. Bye bye. I love the icons in the balloon so far. <laughs> Very cute. Stamp received. Experience. As your party accumulates experience, their level and stats will increase. Experience is gained by completing quests and defeating enemies inside dungeons. <laughs> One down, plenty more to go. <laughs> Repair my broken house. You can now go to the plaza to the residential district. Alright. So. We could go there straight away. But we can also explore the forest a little bit before we do. Nah, let's explore the village a little bit more. Because maybe we can only find the resources once we accepted the quest to find those resources. So, just to be sure. Nothing much to see here. I'm pretty sure that will change after a while. The residential district. Lifelong residents of Nunave have their homes in this part of town. Acting Mayor Isha also calls this place home. I'm noticing that the stamp card is called silver. Does it mean once this card is full, we can get new cards for more quests, like a golden and platinum maybe? 
to get other rewards for it. I'm just trying to think out loud. <laughs> Excuse me, you don't suppose you're Priya's dad, are you? I am. Who might you be? Another adventurer looking for treasure? <laughs> yep, I'm CJ. Nice to meet ya. I'm Ganesh. How exactly do you know my Priya then? Well, we just met in the plaza. I helped her track down Yum Yum. Is that so? Well, very kind of you. So, what brings you here to me? Well, Priya said you've been having some trouble rebuilding your home after that big quake. Thought I'd come by and lend a hand. Ah, I see. I suppose you're collecting stamps then? <laughs> yep, I've only got a one for now, so if there's anything you need help with, I'm your girl. I suppose I do have a small job you could take care of. You do? Why not? Acting Mayor got the right idea as far as your adventures go. If you're willing to work, who am I to turn you away? Right, right. <laughs> so what's the job? I need you to gather some wood for the repairs on my house. You'll have to venture out uh, into the great forest outside of town. And that's all? No problem. I'd go myself, but since the excavation I've heard all sorts of creatures have been seen in the woods. Everyone here is far too scared to venture down and see for themselves. Hmm, I had no idea the Ron Barrows had caused so much trouble. Oh, you'll be amazed. And you'll be needing an axe then. Unless you plan on taking the trees into coming down. Here. Take this old one. Just like I thought, we need items before we can actually collect those resources. And our ex is probably one of the first. Thanks, I'll be back in a bit. Take care. <laughs> X level one received. With this item, you can cut down trees in the forest elsewhere to obtain wood. As you level up your ex, you will increase the variations of wood you can acquire. Healing potions. Consumables. Consumable items like potions and bombs are kept in your stove pack. If your stove pack is full, items will be held in your storehouse until you need them. Be sure to check your stove pack before venturing out. Alright. Interior? Ooh. Who else can we find around here? Because if it's possible for us to get multiple quests, I'd be more than up for it. Let me guess, the gigantic big old house? It's Isha's, isn't it? <laughs> I'm sure it is. All right, let's uh, see if there's anyone else in town. I doubt it, I think we can just uh, go into the forest and start exploring. Yep, nothing to see here. Looks like uh, Priya has just gone out and played with her cat. Alright, you know what? I think I'm gonna leave it here. Next time we're gonna go into the forest and see if we can complete the quest to repair his broken house. By finding some wood and while we at it exploring some more, gathering more wood than we need. In case there are other quests that need it or if we can do something with those resources ourselves. Which I am hoping, but uh, only time will tell. So, until then, I wish you a great night, morning, day, wherever you are. And if you're still here, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and be back next time. To see how far we can get through the forest. Bye-bye. <laughs>